Let's try the uh, another Yusuko Guns problem from the 2020 January contest. Uh, what's happening here? So we have a thousand cows in some permutation. Uh, let me see. Okay, so we have the sum of adjacent things in the permutation, and we want the smallest uh, hmm. the smallest permutation that produces those like pairwise sums. Right, right here, 3 plus 1 is 4, 1 plus 5 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, 2 plus 4 is 6. Uh, that's the sample size. Wait, I don't know how to do this. This is bombs. It's supposed to be easy. Okay. So what can we say? This is one plus two. This is one plus. Or this is two plus three. Uh, so their difference is one minus three. Uh, I see. Okay, we should just pick it. We should just brute force over A0. Then we can compute all the rest of the permutation. We can check if it's a valid permutation. And because we always want the smallest permutation, uh, we should just take the first one that works. Um, I guess I won't bother going back to one index. I will stick with the one indexing here. I think it's easier that way. And we need to back the numbers we've seen. and we can just print it out.
When indexing was a mistake, let's go back to zero indexing. Because this is the sum of two one index numbers, we should subtract two from it. it boot for so the first element of the permutation as a permutation we need all the elements to be unique so keep track of what numbers we've seen already keep track of the permutation write down that we've seen the first element write down the first element and then we also we just need to keep track of the sort of last element that we placed because the next element is just uh, you know that partial sum minus uh, the previous element Right, this is the sum of two adjacent elements, so if we have the left one, we can get the right one. Uh, it has to be a valid number in the permutation from 0 to n minus 1. Otherwise, the whole permutation is bad. If we've seen that number before, the permutation is bad. Write down that we've seen this new number. Write down the new number in the permutation and update our previous element. The right element from this sum is going to be the left element from the next sum. Uh, okay, so if something bad happened, then this permutation doesn't work. Otherwise, we're done. We should actually return zero. Because we don't want to print out multiple permutations if one of them works. Uh, okay. And now we need to do the F reopen stuff. Oh. 